<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I imagine that going differently in my head. <laughs> Doodlers, I hope you're all having a great day today. If not, then you're in luck because today we are doing something very, very different. I'm going to try designing a video game. So this Thanksgiving, my uncle actually brought his Nintendo Switch so that he could show me a game that he had been playing and it was an indie game. He mentioned that this game was hand-drawn and that maybe I should learn how to make video games because there are a lot of indie developers uh, who are going out there and putting their games out and earning a little bit of money from it. And at first I was like, no, no, I couldn't, I could never be a game designer. But then I was, I started watching just recently this new YouTuber called John Wolf and he plays mainly horror slash suspense games so if you're into that kind of thing then definitely go check him out if you're not then don't because it's literally the only thing he does however he does also play a lot of indie horror games and sometimes some of them are good and most of the time they're not you know sometimes i'm just watching these and i'm like you know me I, I could probably do that <laughs> so now i'm curious to know if i actually could now here's the thing though I know nothing about making games. Literally nothing. So, uh, I'm going to be going into this completely blind and hopefully I'm gonna learn a few things. Okay, so, um, I'm actually on Skillshare right now, not sponsored by the way. As you can see, I have accumulated a list of quite a few different uh, Skillshare classes uh, that teach you how to use Unity. I'm sticking with Unity because it's a really popular engine. I don't know if it's the best one to do because like I said, I know nothing about any of this, but I figure it's a good uh, starting point at the very least. Uh, the first thing I need to do is get Unity because I don't have it, I just realized. <laughs> uh, imagine build and succeed with Unity, get Unity, okay. Look at this art though, this art is beautiful. I wish I could draw like that. Oh dear. For beginners, personal, a free version of Unity for beginners does not include additional support, training, and services. Okay, that's for me. <laughs> I do not have any money. Okay, so this is Unity. Um, it doesn't look as intimidating as some of the other programs I've opened up, however, I still don't know what anything does. So, this is the point where I go back to Skillshare and I learn what it is on Earth I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Okay, so it said that we needed to uh, import the Unity asset package, but I don't know exactly how to do that. Okay, so I think I uh, figured out what the playmaker that he was using was. It, looked like the thing that he would have been using. It looked like the same setup and all. However, it was $45 and I ain't about that life. <laughs> I'm not spending <laughs> that much money on this because as of the moment, I don't plan to make games for a living. I plan to make them just for fun, just to see if I can. So instead, I am using this uh, free <laughs> playmaker. Um, in case any of you guys were wondering, this is what I decided to use. I have no idea how good it is because I haven't started using it yet, but this is the only free one that I could find that had good reviews, even though it's only four reviews, but whatever, that's besides the point. It's, it's besides the point. It's free and that's all that matters to me. <laughs> Okay, well, I can't figure out that 
first course uh, <laughs> without having to buy that Playmaker thing. Uh, and I'm not quite ready to do that. I don't have money to spend. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to try a different course. <laughs> So the tutorial I did ultimately end up going with uh, is called Master Game Development with Unity Game Engine Volume 1, and it was by Fahir Mahovic, and I definitely butchered that name. However, it is the one that I decided to go with, so I figured it would be good to credit him in case any of you guys have Skillshare and you want to take this class. Fair warning though, it is kind of an older class. Uh, so some of the stuff that he does on there is, uh, outdated and it causes a couple of problems when using Unity. However, it's not too bad and the problems that it does cause can easily be Googled and fixed. And he starts out with, uh, teaching you how to make Happy Bird, because I think he started out with that one because it's really simple, it has very basic mechanics, and there's not very much to the game. Here I am creating all of my own assets because I did want to be unique, I didn't want to create a, a, just another Flappy Bird knockoff clone. Uh, so while it is the same basic game as Flappy Bird, I do have a different concept. I am doing a ghost inside of a haunted mansion and he's flying through the haunted mansion trying to avoid all of these different obstacles. Uh, so I chose a piano, a uh, candle brums, and then I also created a tea set. So a teapot and a little teacup. Uh, so yeah, so those were the and the obstacles and the character that I decided to create. I was not about to create my own font, however, so I did go through 100 pages of font, and that's when I finally ended up uh, choosing a font that I was happy with, which was Ghost Me. It is a free font that I decided to use and I just thought it fit very well. Here is me creating the obstacles and I just started out with the piano, just did a, a, a quick sketch of it. And yes, I did include all of the keys to the piano. I don't, I don't know why that was so important to me, but I really wanted to make sure that I had all 50 two keys? Is that how many there are? I, I can't even remember at the moment, but as you can see, you get to the end there and they're a little uneven, but it's an old piano in a haunted mansion. I mean, what do you expect? They're bound to be a little warped. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, I, I tried to make it uh, as if uh, all of the obstacles were sort of enchanted in a way, making, I gave this like little purple uh, aura around it that uh, makes it so that it's floating and makes it a little more uh, ghostly. Uh, so I thought I thought that was kind of a nice touch. And I did really enjoy creating these sprites. I know that sounds weird, but I, I did enjoy creating them because they're just like simple objects and I don't, I don't know. I don't know what my logic is behind them, but I enjoyed creating them. So there. <laughs> and uh, with that finished, it was finally time to uh, importing them into the game and actually creating it. Now, uh, I believe... What did he do? He like dragged it. I'm trying to remember what the guy did. Wait. I don't think he actually... Ah, there we go. Texture type. Uh, what did he put it as? Okay, yeah. Sprite 2D. That's, that's what, that's what we need. And we need single because it's one background. Now this, however, it needs to be Sprite 2D, but it also needs to be multiple. And same thing with this one. It needs to be, oh, unapplied imports as apply? I don't know. Oh, you have to, <laughs> you have to hit apply. Okay, okay, apply. Okay, yeah, he is definitely on an older version than I am because he went to this format and he had three options. I have five million. <laughs> Sprite editor. And 
and uh, slice automatic. Did it do it? Oh, it did! Okay. So it, ooh, okay, so now each, ah, no, 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 that is not what I meant to do, cease and desist. Uh, I also just realized that you have to draw the, like, pause button and the tutorial buttons and uh, the play button. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> have created whatever sprites and assets and whatever I need so I'm hoping that I will be able to create the animations now for my uh, ghost here um, and then you can see I realized I forgot to create a, like a death animation for when like when you hit the ground or when you hit an obstacle or something and so I did that really fast uh, so now so okay 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 so I think what he did was he selected all of the things to make an animation. Can I just like, there we go. Okay. So then you drag them into here, I believe he said, and you, ooh, create a new animation. So I'm just going to name this floating ghost. Say, there we go. And now I have my little floating ghost guy. If I hit play, Hey, I don't know why he jumps like that. Oh dear. You know, I think I might know what the problem is. I think I might have fixed it, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to actually check and see if it's fixed. Please be fixed because I don't want to figure it out. I really don't, but if I have to, I will. Okay, that's good. That's, that's good. Um, I wish you were going a little slower, but I don't know how to change that. Okay, so one thing that I didn't think about when I was creating the background was that the floor has to be separate because you have to be able to hit the floor, but you can't be able to hit like the background. So uh, I'm gonna have to fix that really fast. Okay, that's better, I think. Now, uh, okay, now for the real test though. Now I need to copy and paste and then move it. And then if I zoom in and hit the V, snap it there. <gasps> there we go! All right, that doesn't look half bad. Now the window, the window's gonna bother me, I'll be honest. <laughs> the window's really gonna bother me. However, um, I'm not gonna mess with it for now. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it as is, and maybe I'll change the background later, maybe not, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But, for now, this is what it's going to be. Uh, so, I have a problem. Uh, okay, I need, I need to do some programming. I need to like actually like type out stuff, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to make a script. I really don't. I, th I think this is what I, where, where I'm supposed to be. Now, um, because I have taken notes on what I am supposed to be writing for this script, uh, because I didn't want to continually go back and forth, this is going to be interesting because this is literally a foreign language. Like, I would argue that this is a different language. So, um, and I have no clue what it's saying. I'm just copying what the guy wrote and I'm putting it into the script. So hopefully, hopefully I'll, I can figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be really weird. 
oh wait 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 curly curly thing right here that it has one of those i actually don't think you're supposed to capitalize these yeah no you're not supposed to capitalize i'm so used to capitalizing the first letter in a sentence and i'm just like i don't know i don't know even something as small as capitalization it matters like if you capitalize something that's not supposed to be capitalized, it will mess everything up. And that's the craziest part of all of this. Oh, hey. It corrected it for me. Did you see that? I like, I... I put a space here. I put a, I put a space right here where my cursor is. And then I did that. And it corrected it for me. There's not supposed to be a space there. That's neato! Uh, that's everything that I have written down. Question is, am I really done? Hmm, I don't know how to do this. Let's, let's try, let's just, let's just calm down here. Let's just, let's just calm down for a moment. Oh gosh, what did I do? Hold up. Hold up. What did I do? Wait. Was I supposed to... For future reference, you are supposed to create the script inside of Unity and then you're supposed to type out all of the stuff that you need. So, can I, is editing a thing that I can do? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the moment of truth. The script is, uh, it's, it's attached to my ghost. Um, if I go to the script, then it has everything typed out that he said to type out. So I'm gonna hit play and see what happens. Oh no, a compiler errors have to be fixed before you enter play mode. No, no. what errors? What did I do wrong? Why? Oh my goodness, guys. Remember when I told you at like, the beginning when I started the script, I was like, if you mess up on any, like any, any capitalization, then it's not gonna work. Well, I was partially joking when I said that because I wasn't sure because I was like, almost everything ignores capitalization. So it can't be that important. I had one word that was capitalized and it wasn't supposed to be and it just messed up the entire script. Nothing would work, nothing. So, <laughs> I am going to uh, try this again. And, oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, new behavior. Slap the bird, I believe is what that's supposed to be. I'm gonna try it. It still didn't do anything. <gasps> ah! It's doing it! Oh my gosh, it did it! Look at that! Look at- look, 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 Oh my goodness! That's so satisfying! Oh, that took way longer than it should have. Okie dokie, so for some reason my face cam didn't record for this part, which isn't the end of the world because it was basically just three hours of uh, boring content anyway with like random spurts of me throwing fits of frustration. 
like this entire video has been. <laughs> uh, however, it's just me adding in all of the obstacles, putting colliders on them so that uh, the ghost can collide with them so that he won't pass right through them, yada yada. So yeah, I guess now we will move on. It's not working. That does absolutely nothing. Woo! Why isn't it recognizing the command? Hold on. Look it up. Let me see if I can find me. Who are you? Birth anniversary? Who says that? Why not just say birthday? This kid is holding a frog. I appreciate that. Component.collider is a property, but a type was expected. What does that mean? It is exactly the same. Why aren't you working? Hmm? 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 I need some coffee. 2,000 years later. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Uh, so I have sort of fixed it for the most part. As you can see, I changed the background so that it's more of like an endless hallway of doors rather than the same window with the same view over and over and over again. Um, so I like that a little bit more. However, I didn't take into consideration that uh, the doors would either be too close together or I would have to flip the canvas and cause the door handle to be on the wrong side, but whatever, it's whatever. Uh, maybe I'll fix that in the future, Maybe not. What I ended up doing was I ended up resorting to just creating uh, three different scripts, the uh, candle collector, the uh, the uh, teapot collector, and then the piano collector. Um, I guess probably what was happening was I was trying to put too many similar commands for different objects in the same script. And so I, I think it was probably conflicting uh, a lot. And so now I do it and it, it works pretty much, uh, for the most part, it works fine. Um, so if I start it, you can see. But yeah, see, the piano disappears and goes back. The candle disappears and goes back. The teapot disappears and goes back. So that's nice. The only thing that is the problem is this right here this piano. Uh, for some reason, okay, if I go into, let me open up one of these, uh, piano script. Okay, so if you see, you can see here the piano min clearly is 0.68 and the max is 5.74. That's very clearly stated. Yet, if you go into Unity and you click this, then the Y is 7.329. It's like, it's above the max. I don't know why it does that. Uh, I don't know how to fix it. The good news is it never goes completely 100% out of view. The bad news is that sometimes it's like that. It's so that only the legs are showing. And it's like, what is the point of that? Um, and I'm pretty sure the farthest down it has ever been is maybe like a little bit farther down than that one. So like maybe like three. So the minimum is apparently around three, even though on here it clearly states 0.68. So I don't know what the problem is there. I don't know how to fix it. Other than that, it's working. Uh, so I guess I get to move on to the next step. So on Flappy Bird, you know, you pass through the pipes and it gives you a point. I think instead of doing like passing through the pipes to get a point, I'm going to do collecting coins to get a point. Now, do I want to do coins or do I want to do something else? Coins are just like, everybody uses coins. They're so cliche. I don't, so, but I don't know what I would use then. All I can think of is Polaroids, like Polaroid pictures. I don't know why that is what's coming to mind, but I kind of want to do Polaroids. I don't know what else I would do. 
You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do Polaroids. <gasps> I just had an idea for a story for this app. Hear me out, guys. What if? What if at the beginning of the app, there's like, uh, there's like a little cutscene, you know? And it's, it's two ghosts. It's the ghost that you're playing as, the, and it's a little girl ghost with maybe like a bow or something. Um, and they have a really old camera. They're in this haunted ha house and they have this really old camera. They're all happy and everything. And they are, uh, they're taking pictures together. They're so completely happy. They just love each other so much. And, um, <laughs> and then, uh, something like maybe an evil, an evil ghost or a witch or something, uh, kidnaps the, the girl ghost. And that's what sets, uh, the protagonist off on this journey through this endless hallway uh, trying to find his beloved again. <laughs> and that's why, <laughs> that's why there's Polaroid pictures everywhere. <laughs> it's a good story, okay? Don't make fun of me. My goodness. This is hands down the most adorable thing I have ever created in my entire life. Look at them! They're so cute! Oh my gosh! I love them so much! So that's, that's promising. So the Polaroids are in different locations. That's good. However, they do not appear to be being collected by the thingamajigger. The ghost name is now Numa. That's that's what that's what the ghost's name is. Don't question it. <laughs> I have been working on this game for two weeks. I probably spent a total of about 20 hours on it not including editing the video. I'm dead inside. In all seriousness, guys, with all of the bumps and curves and frustrations that I had with this, uh, making this, I did have a lot of fun and I learned a ton. From what I was at the beginning where I knew absolutely nothing, I feel like I have come a long way. So I am, I'm really happy with this. Uh, I'm really happy with this first attempt at a game. Is it perfect? Not by a long shot. Is it bad? I wouldn't say so. I don't necessarily know if I would go as far as to say it was necessarily good, but I don't think it was bad. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that is the, that's my, that's, that's my two cents, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, so this is the menu so far. Uh, as you can see, if I click on my YouTube button, nothing happens. Uh, and if I click on the share button, nothing happens. That was because I had to download third party plugins that I think you had to like pay that company for, uh, to do stuff with that I, I wasn't willing to do because like I said, I'm not, as of the moment, I am in by no means planning to put this on the Google Play Store. However, uh, if you, if you press the play button, then voila, it goes into the game. Uh, so then you click, Click start and you're going along. Whoop a doop a doo. Whoop a doop a doo. Um, so yeah, you clicked. Uh, as you can see, the score counter is not working right now for some reason. Uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I could not figure out why. I cannot figure out how to change. See, it's working now. It works. See, but it didn't. Yeah, see, it, it worked then. So I don't know what that is about. <laughs> Uh, the next thing I noticed is that I couldn't figure out how to get my high score to work at all. I had no clue what to do there. So that's not working either. Um, 
But you can see that when he hits an object, he does his little death animation, his little, ow, oh no. Uh, but yeah, uh, another bug that I have found. So if you, if you hit the replay button, then it replays the game, it restarts it. Uh, and you're going along, do 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 do, and oh no, you die. If you hit the play button, it just brings you back to the game. It doesn't restart anything. The game over symbol is still up. He's still dead. Uh, so then you have to press. See, you you can't even you can't even press pause. Can't even do that. So then you have to go back to the menu. But another thing that I noticed is that I don't have a menu button. So if I hit play and I go and I die. There's no menu button. There's no way to get back to the menu. Or if I replay and I'm playing and I pause, there's no way to get back to the menu. So that's a problem. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, far from perfect. I don't know if I would go as so far as to say it was good, but I don't think I would go the other extreme where I would say it's bad. It's certainly needs a few updates. <laughs> So, <laughs> because I need to post this video, because it's already, like, three weeks late, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, I set out to learn something, and I think I accomplished that goal. So, I'm pretty proud of myself. I don't know what you guys think. I don't know if you think that I should continue with this or not. Or maybe uh, I should try making a 3D game. Uh, maybe uh, if you guys want to see me try to tackle the world of three-dimensional video games, then I am certainly 100% willing to do that because I think it would be a lot of fun. So if you do want to see that, please leave a like on the video so that I know and that I can do this in the future. Uh, if you happen to be new, please consider subscribing to join my daily doodlers. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. <laughs> I don't know what this was. I don't. I don't know what any of these hand motions are. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>